Hello, this is Mike, nostressmike.com, right here, right there. That, I'll bring it up here so you can see where we're at. That was right down there as you follow the lines. That was where that, that was. And that's from the battery. Right there. You follow the lines of the battery. It goes all the way down there. And this is what was there. And uh, it's a 30 amp circuit breaker. And uh, it's... Uh, <laughs> I knew I had a problem. Um, we're running on the generator, and uh, the vibration of the generator it uh, shorted out the the plug in, and it shorted out that switch. And uh, when that happened, uh, I lost the connection from that battery to the camper. And that is, that battery um, runs um, most of the, the stuff you use in the, the camper. Uh, lights, um, the water pump. Uh, I even noticed that the, the water heater uh, switched over to gas. When I have it plugged in, it runs off electric. And when it's uh, not getting any juice, it runs off of uh, uh, the, the propane. Uh, uh, let's see, like I say, the, the um, and it runs the pump. And, but I say it doesn't run, uh, like say, the space heater, air conditioning, and uh, microwave. It doesn't uh, operate those. Uh, but it, like I say... It does operate most of the other stuff. And this is the thing when people are going to put solar on, that is what they're putting that solar on. And here I've got a, a place there I can hook up solar, and then that'll, and all it does is it uh, keeps the battery uh, juiced up. I haven't figured out how much juice it uses. Now, what it does do when it's now um, where I'm at, it's kind of a little cold. And um, if you use the heater in the, the, the camper, the electric fan in the heater take, takes juice from that battery. And um, But the thing is, uh, when you hook the generator up, it uh, fills this battery real quick. I mean... Um, so far I haven't got it down to, uh, maybe a half of what I've got this battery down. And when you start up the generator, in less than 30 minutes, the battery is plumb full. And the reason I put the generator is to either use the space heater or, um, uh, the microwave. Uh, that's what I'm, I'm using the, the generator for. Uh, but the thing, uh, the thing was, when that it shorted out and I lost this thing, uh, I haven't been using it. And what I have been doing, what I learned, is you can. Uh, this is your plug-in for your uh, hooked onto your truck, and then when I can do that, I can plug that in, and it runs off of the truck battery. I thought that was kind of cool. So, uh, now, uh, and it's supposed to, uh, I think, when you're driving down the road, it's charging up uh, this battery. It's supposed to, I think. Uh, I'll find out more as I get going. Because, like I say, the, so far, the only ways that I've been using uh, uh, outside electric is through an extension cord or on the generator. And I know both of those keeps the battery uh, juiced up. And uh, like I say, through the night, uh, it's been working uh, when because you have your thermostat, and then the heater will kick on and kick off. 
And uh, when it's doing that, that's when you're going to drain the battery. Um, so, but I say it's not difficult at all to charge that battery. And um, uh, so, like I say, it's not so far. It hasn't been really much of a concern. And like I say, I don't do electronic stuff, so I don't use stuff that draws energy. And uh, when I do uh, charge things up, I've got a battery pack that uh, whenever I'm running the generator or I'm hooked up uh, some uh, wherever I've got an extension cord, um, that will juice up the uh, battery pack. And the battery pack is what I use to charge up my electronic stuff. And But I don't use a whole lot of electronic stuff, so... Uh, but anyway, um, I w and uh, I don't know how much uh, propane I've been using. I'm testing. All this is trying to let me know how much uh, juice I use, how much propane I use. I got uh, two propane, uh, two propane tanks. Uh, the other one runs uh, that uh, Mr. Heater inside. I'll use that, and um, because that means I'm using less of this. And uh, with, with two, I can swap it around. I'll use the, the other tank. Uh, I'll use it to do cooking. There's the... See, I got another burner right there. So I can do more cooking. I do most, most of the... Well, real cooking, I'll do outside. I don't do it inside. Um, because like I say, then... It, more lights you're using more lights you got to use the exhaust system and you're putting moisture in the air and it makes a bigger mess you know how it is in the kitchen how it gets all greasy and nasty so i eliminate all that by cooking outside and like i say it's always cooking for myself only so i don't have to cook that much but anyway i just wanted to share with you uh what i've learned and uh like i say this one's got like i say a 30 amp um uh circuit breaker but i guess it goes from 30 to 50 is what depending on the size of your trailer and how much stuff you got hooked on to it and uh, but like i say i'm not using much and that's what all this is for is experience and you learn from your experience this mike no stress mike.com